Shark! 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 Hi all, welcome back to my channel and our kayaking adventures. The third day in the Florida Keys, the weather finally started to cooperate with us. It was December 10th and the temperature was only 66 degrees and for a change, the wind was calm. We decided to kayak around a tiny island south of Isla Morada called Indian Key. I think someone in the Florida Kayaking Facebook group recommended it. We were hoping that we might get a little bit of snorkeling practice in while we were there. However, if you paid attention to the intro, well, there were things in the water that changed our minds. We launched about 1.15 p.m. at the Indian Key boat ramp, which is on the southbound side of US-1. The launch area is easily accessible with a moderate amount of parking. As we began our paddle toward the island, we had no idea of the historical significance of the island. However, once we would reach the island, we would learn quite a bit. The island was home to the town of Indian Key in the middle of the 19th century, but is now an uninhabited ghost town. The island was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 1972. We paddled along US-1 until we got to the bridge which connects Island Morada and Matacom Key. Once under the bridge, it was a short paddle to Indian Key. When the boat launch to the island was only about three quarters of a mile. The water was really calm, much different than the previous day when we paddled around Key West. The water also appeared to be fairly shallow although we didn't check to see if it was due to the clarity of the water. After reaching the island, we decided to go around the island to see where it would be a good place for us to land our kayaks. There appeared to be trails, and since we knew nothing of the island, we thought it might be best to scope it out first. After coming around the backside, we found this dock. Most of the shoreline was fairly rocky and not a good place to easily go ashore. We also noticed the water was still fairly shallow, which might not be the best to swim or snorkel in. We paddled on. Big fish at this chase. Oh, what's that? Is that a shark? No way. It appeared the fish weren't jumping out of the water just to be in this video in the hopes of becoming YouTube famous. They were jumping out of the water because there was a big fish there. A bull shark. That's pretty cool. There were several that we encountered. Enough to end the idea of us snorkeling. They may have been more scared of us than we were of them, but it's their home. We'll just paddle on top of it in the safety of our kayaks.
I did try to get a nice underwater shot of one of the sharks. However, it was a bit camera shy, and I was unsuccessful. The sharks were fairly small. They were between three to six feet in length. And if they weren't bull sharks, please someone correct me in the comments. It was quite the experience to paddle with the sharks. We eventually found the kayak landing to Indian Key and set out to explore the island. Hey, shark! After landing on the island and setting our kayaks so they wouldn't drift away, we stretched our legs and set out to explore the island. We noticed a ranger pay station. I didn't have any cash or my wallet on me. However, after reading the other signs, I found that you could pay by credit card through the floridastateparks.org website. I made note of the website and we set out to see what there was to see. There were several trails and signs pointing out the directions to go, almost set up like streets. I later figured out that the trails were set up in a grid pattern. We headed first toward the town square. Oh, you just missed the giant lizards. What is that? That was a rabbit. The open space in front of you was once the community's town square. Back in the 1830s, when the square was likely created, it was delineated by a low wooden fence, accentuated by a line of coconut palms. How the space was subsequently used has never been documented. What is known is that Indian Key was once home to the largest community in the Florida Keys, outside of Key West. There was an app you could use with your phone to get a tour of the island. I tried to use it. But after the first couple of minutes, we decided to explore the island on our own and read the signs. I figured I would do more research once I got back and made this video. However, I think I'll make a separate video touring the Indian Key. Let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in a follow-up video on the history of Indian Key. It is an interesting little island with quite a bit of history before a hurricane in 1935 when the island ceased being used or inhabited. Yeah. Hey, there's another kayak here. After a couple of hours exploring the island, we made our way back to our kayaks and got back out on the water. We wanted to paddle back past the bridge and check out Lignum Vitae Key since snorkeling was now off the to-do list. Paddling toward the bridge, I saw a stingray in the seagrass flats, which started off rapidly once I came upon it. Sharks and stingrays, that's not something we often see while out in the water. Ligne Vante Key was a mile from the bridge. After visiting Indian Key, I had no idea what to expect. I guess I should have did some research before starting this adventure, but that would take the mystery out of it.
Well, we arrived at Lignaventa Key only to find it was closed. We weren't sure if it was closed because of the COVID restrictions or if we just happened to catch it on a day that it was actually closed. It did appear, according to their website, that the park did close at 5 p.m. And since it was already 4.45, even if it was open, it would be closed soon. It turns out that Lignavante Key was a botanical state park. Perhaps we may give it a visit some other time. If you've visited, let me know what you thought of it and if we should go back sometime. Since the sunset was shortly after 5.30 p.m., we decided to paddle back and maybe put our drone up in the air and catch a nice sunset in the Keys. I hope you found this visit to Indian Key enjoyable. It certainly was one of our most interesting paddles of our Florida vacation. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up icon and give this video a like. If you haven't subscribed, but you enjoy our content, join Team Kayak 7 Seas by subscribing to this channel. I try to have a video ready every Thursday, and we have quite a number of adventures still yet to come from this Florida vacation, so hit that notification bell to get notified when the next video is ready. You can also check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Until the next time, I hope to see you out on the water someday.